Hello and welcome to a new video about my QGD motor controller. Last time we connected the thing. We connected the thing, we produced the thing where we can control this MQT motor controller. Now I want to do some augmentation. I have already prepared um, uh, ThingWorks experience. Yeah, I've used my model. You see it here. I've used my model. Uh, and I've also added here a scale. All right, a scale. And I want those two little errors, one to represent the current set point and one to present the current speed so that we can see, oh, set point is jumping and the speed is going also to somewhere. All right, so that's, uh, that's what we want to do. Uh, this is a project for, for, uh, uh, handheld device or for, for actually for a 2D device hmm? and for mobile device and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Let's first see if we can find our, our motor controller thing. There is the thing and actually what we want to have, we have, we want to have get property values get property values here we have it all right this is one we want to have and we want to configure this say okay execute it start and we want to to have it every 0 to 0.2 seconds why not uh, then we will add a parameter and we say that's the actual speed and this is speed actual should go to actual speed all right then we want to have a speed set point and the actual speed set point shall go there all right all right good and those we are using poo, actual speed, more like them. It's the Y rotation. Yeah? So we bind it and we have to filter this. We have to filter this because uh, from, from per, per cent to rotation. We want to have zero percent shall be zero rotation and 100% shall be minus 240 actually. Yeah. So, uh, zero dot, it's 10,000, zero dot zero 24 minus speed set point. We'll do the same. This is working. From percent to rotation. Okay. Preview. Okay, it's looking pretty much the same as before. Now I change something here and see if, if, mm, no, no. But in here we have it, right? Yes, we have it. All right, so here we have it. And here nothing much is happening. Okay, so let's let's display this. A 3D display, why not? And we are displaying the actual speed set point. That's it, text, bind, preview. Okay, 3100. So this worked. This worked. Okay, then maybe it's the filter. Test F. Not a number. All right, it's the filter. Uh huh. Okay, looking better. This is was wrong. Yeah, I always forget. I always forget those things. All right, there is something. It changed. Okay, I changed the speed set point. Let's say to 85%. And it changed. 
And if I stop it? Okay, this worked good. This worked good. All right. <laughs> this I can forget. Because I have this nice scale here. Good. Good. And now we have another task. Now we want to set the speed set point from our from our handheld device. So we're switching, we're switching to, to, to 2D and actually what we do is we make a toggle button. We don't make a toggle button. We make a, we make a button. Text means start. Button start. And we make a slider. Minimum is zero, maximum is one, one hundred percent. Good. Stop feedback. I want to check this, this stop. Why I'm doing always, always via, via application parameter? Because if I don't use application parameters and if I would have to change then the server somehow, the Thingworks server, I would. So I have a single point, single point of entry. I'm using application parameter. If I change the server, another another thing, I just have to combine those things, and everything is working as before. Okay, stop, stop feedback. Invert. If if value equals one re return false else return true this is working hmm. let's see preview it's not visible it's visible not visible it's working <laughs> Uh-huh. Yes. It's, n it's visible. Uh, it's not stopped. And now I stop it. It's not visible. Good. Good. So this is working. I only want to have this here if it is uh, stopped. And I will make a second button over there, which is called stop. Start button. Start button, button start, button, button stop. All right. And I will do it exactly the same. If it's stopped, we shall start. So the stop feedback. Is this already working? Let's see. Oh, no? okay. I have to set it to true and false. Zero, one is not working. So I have to add here a filter and do poo, it's called the filter, if value equals one, return true, else return false. Now it should work, I guess, preview. Preview is a nice thing. Yes. And the stop button, I will do it exactly the other way. So here we will also have stop feedback to stop button, bound, and uh, invert. We use the same as here. Preview. Now we should one time the stop button, yes, and one time the start button. Okay. But actually, this one I could always, I could always display.
Gut. Gut. That's that. That's that. Uh, what else? How to get this? How to get this into 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 thing works? Well, it was not easy. I tell you that it was not easy. Uh, what we have actually to do is we add a service here, yeah, and we add a service, and the service name is start command for for instance. Start command. Issue a start command. Yeah. We have no inputs, yeah. and we will set simply properties. We will set this stop command to zero. This is what the service is doing. Okay, I'm programming a service, and this service is doing exactly that. Yeah? Start command. Yeah? Then we will add we will add a service. It's called stop command. And here we will set the stop command to one. Right? Send a stop command. Aha. Uh -huh. Stop motor command. It's already used. Ah, of course, because the mm -hmm. because the, the property is named exactly that. Stop motor command. Done. Maybe we can rename this. No. Ah. It's not very nice. But that's it. Uh, so if I execute this, stop command is one. If I execute this, start command. Hmm. Can I see here it's different? Yes, it's working. I see it here. I see it here. So yeah, the services are working. Okay, how to use the service now in ThingWorks? How to use it in ThingWorks? Well, we have to subscribe this service. All right, we have to subscribe this service. You, we find it now here. It's called stop, stop motor command, back, and start motor command, and start command. These are now the two services we have. Yeah. Yeah. They are somewhere. Stop command, start command. These are exactly the two services I just programmed in, in ThingWorks. All right. And how, how to trigger this service now if we click here? Yeah. If we click here, well, I'm going to write a command. Yeah. A function and this function I call dollar scope. Maybe I should zoom a little bit in so that you can read better. Dollar scope dot start motor command. And this is a function. That's it. And how now? To execute a command, well, there's that. This is the command. And here I have to write the thing. And the thing, what was the thing name? Hmm. Copy. That's the thing name. Yeah. All right. And then I have to enter a service yeah and the service was a start command and here we would have parameters we don't have defined parameters so I'm using false yeah and ah, now no parameters now that's it yeah and the same I'll do for stop command 
stop motor command and this is what's called stop motor command. So th with these two lines I'm triggering the service. Yeah? Save, hopefully, yeah? hopefully, reset the size uh, and then we only have then here start button. I will call uh, start motor command and hit the stop button, I will call stop motor command. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is changing here. Yes. <laughs> Good. Good. And now to the set point. This is a little bit more tricky. <clears throat> because actually we have we have uh, parameter, okay. So, but it's again the same thing. Yeah, we have a service here, yeah? and we add a service. Yeah, and I will call it set motor speed set point. Okay. Now we have an input we add, and here we call it value, yeah? and this is a number. And we have it from 0 to 100%, right? Right. Done and add. Uh, cancel done. Now we have the value. And Actually, what we have to do is that we are setting the speed set point command yeah, exactly to this to this value, and that's it. This is what the service is doing. All right. So this is the this is the service. Uh, more should not be done with the service. Yeah. So. This should work, hopefully. Yeah. Let's see if I set here a value of 100, execute. Okay, with 100. Yeah. If I set here a value of 200, execute, yeah. it's 200. This seems to work, the service seems to work. Uh, and also have the feedback, set point actual. This seems to work pretty well. Okay, so that's that's the service. This seems to work. So this is already already pretty nice. Set it to zero again. Execute. I also see it on my phone. <laughs> this is working. This is actually I like if when things are really good working. So now we have to call this service here somehow. And of course we do it pretty much the same style. We do it pretty much the same style and we call value and we say uh, set motor speed set point function value. And now we have to get the value and here we have to use the service name, I already forgot. <laughs> Set uh, this one, yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, and here we have to use the params parameter. So we will add the parameters and we say var uh, params equals, and now we have to, to use the, the JSON syntax, yeah, and actually. It will look like that, yeah. Value because this is the name. This is the name we are using here, yeah. It's value, yeah. Maybe I should write it another way, yeah. Here I say, let's say, new set point. All right. Then I make here new set point. Okay. This is the value, the input parameter of this service. 
make it bigger. The input parameter of this service is value, and this should have the value new set point, which I am adding to this to this in this in this function. I hope this works. Last time it did. Today I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, let's see the slider. What should we do? Change value. Yes. And we are calling. I should really remember what I am programming here. Yeah? And we are calling this. And we say ooh, how to do this. Slider speed set. Hmm. This dot value. Is this working? Is this working? Of course not. Of course not. And I already forgot how this how this is working. So I will simply use or make an application parameter test. I will add the value. I'll add the value there. Then I have the The binding, and I will add this here. <laughs> this is not working. No. Okay. Use the params test. Is this working? Don't think so. Hmm. Where is the error? Make here console log. Hmm. So let's log. Let's log what we are receiving here. So we're adding here a console. And we should see the log here. And if we make a preview, we should see this actually, I think. <laughs> ah, yeah. object value. Well, well, that's it. Ooh, but it's, it's written with. Hmm. Let's try it here. But not that. I want to use directly this one. Dollar scope. It's the same. How to get rid of this? Ah, man, goat. You know what I forgot? I have not subscribed it. Man, goat. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, now it's working. Really? Really, was it, was it that? Yeah, look. I can change. <laughs> it was it. Mm, right. Seems to work. Now save it. But now, now I'm interested. Now I'm interested. I will publish. I will publish. It was this, this was not published, this was preview. 
publish, set the URL, yes, actually, I think Looking good. It has the same size. I do not get data. How is this working? Ah, this was some rights here. Ah, here in properties, properties, in properties, I have to set the, the, the permissions. Yeah. Runtime, public access. So, hopefully this is working now. All right. All right. So let's see. I press. I show you. All right, wind machine, point camera thing. It, it immediately shows, and here you can see it shows. Yeah, it's working. It's it's pretty much the same size. And if I press start over here, we hear already. It's working. Yeah. Now I I. All right. Whoa. Right, what I don't like, of course, is that I have the virtual image of my of my oh, stop it here. That I have the virtual image of my device and I have the real image of my device. Yeah. Uh, the virtual image looks a little bit better because this one is not printed out right in the in the correct color. But you know what? Let's change this. Let's change this. Uh, the only thing we have to do is that we set this to verdeckend. Yeah? Then publish. Then it's not there. Yeah? It will hide all other virtual elements. Yeah? But actually, we don't see it. Okay, let's try once again. Now, how does this look, huh? Actually, this should be hidden then afterwards. Yes. This looks cool. Start. Cool, huh? Cool. Unbelievable.
Cool. 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 Ja. Yeah. Virtual Control with Augmented Reality. If this is... I mean, yeah. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. The only thing we have to still do, I want to do, is that I have to print this out here in a reasonable color. Right? And I want to have this also on the HoloLens. So we'll do another experience, the HoloLens, and yeah, then I think this will be nice. Yeah, all this done. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.